Hola mi gente! Good morning. It's not the morning. <laughs> it's afternoon, but I just woke up because my sleep schedule has been out of whack. Let me fill you in on what's been going on in this household. Um, by the way, I'm 30 weeks. Here's a bump update. 30 week belly. There's been a lot going on, um, but we haven't really picked up a camera to really bring you guys along because it's just like just dealing with things already is one thing and then having to record it is a whole nother thing. <laughs> so it's better if we just tell you in retrospect. For starters, I have been sleeping alone for over a week because Casey, he caught a cold and he caught like this really like incessant cough that won't go away. Um, but it's not COVID, don't worry, got tested, it's not COVID, it's just a common cold. And so in order to make sure that I don't get sick, he's been sleeping in the office for over a week now. And so I've been in my bed, my lonely bed. Well, at least I have my body pillow, but, but yeah. So that's kind of been crazy because I've been making him breakfast every morning and like making his chamomile tea with like lemon and honey to try to help his throat and that cough of his and also avoid me getting sick because me coughing while being pregnant oh my goodness no like no so we are doing everything on our power to make sure i do not catch whatever it is that he got and luckily it's been working it's been like so far so good i haven't caught in like gotten anything so yeah that's pretty much what's been going on in this house other updates is i put some stuff up around the room i don't know if you noticed so this tiny little clock oh my god this clock look how freaking small this is okay when i purchased it on amazon it showed to be like pretty much the size of the like the length of the tv and like it would have been like about this big but look how freaking tiny it is. Look at this. Come on. It's so small. Read the description, people. And if it's in centimeters, don't be lazy like me and don't convert it. Because that's what happened. They gave me the measurement in centimeters. I'm like, I'm not going to convert this. I don't know. Centimeters? Who knows? I'm a lazy American. So anyway, I purchased it. I got it. Super tiny. And I was like, you know what? I'm still going to put it up where I intended it to be, which is here. Casey says I should move it here, which I probably will eventually. But I've just been too lazy. And literally the next day, I put it up at nighttime. And then in the morning, when I woke up, I was like, wait, it's 9 o'clock? It should be earlier because my phone says it's like 7 something. The freaking clock broke. It broke. It's stuck at 9 p.m. Every time I see it, I'm just like, <sighs> I gotta get rid of it. It upsets me, but you know what makes me really happy though in this bedroom is this. Look, Casey bought me this uh, beautiful canvas portrait of a photo from our wedding. It's actually my favorite photo of us. Recently, I put together a photo album that I showed you guys. And I was telling Casey, I'm like, oh man, I was really stuck between that other photo that has the Eiffel Tower in it to be the cover or this one. And I picked the other one because it has the Eiffel Tower in it. It's like, okay, we got married in Paris. Might as well show it. But this photo is just so like intimate and like it captures such a beautiful moment of happiness from our wedding day that I just, I absolutely love. And so Casey surprised me like a few days after my birthday, this came in and he's like, yeah, this is also your birthday present slash Christmas. Cause it's early Christmas present. So we put it above our bed and I see it every day, especially <laughs> these days that I'm not sleeping next to him. And I just look up and I'm like, oh, my hubby, he's right there. So it makes me really happy. And this is what happens when my husband is left to his own devices. Okay, so for starters, he set up this tray, which is really cute. He set up this tray and then he put these little notes. He's like, you can drop, you can drop off things here. Thank you, love you. So this is where I've been leaving his tea and his toast every morning. I thought that was really cute because he was like, wait, 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 don't come up yet. I'm setting something up. And it turns out it was this. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the up. It's actually not bad right now. He cleaned up. Nice. I feel so bad for Casey because this is so uncomfortable <laughs> compared to our actual bed. And I keep telling him to put this out because this is a foldable like memory foam mattress. So this is really comfortable and this is what we use when we have guests come over. We'll put it over this futon and he's like, no, it's just too, too much work to put it out. But I'm like, dude, it's not comfortable. So he's been suffering, but I don't know. That's his decision. I also gave him the air purifier here. So I'm like, purify all your nasty, uh, contagious coughing in this room. And he, during the day, he always leaves the window open too to like kind of air it out. So that's been the process here. Oh, cute. <laughs> he 
He's outside putting the ornaments on these little trees. So Christmas is this week, just so you guys know the time frame. And I was too lazy to put out all these ornaments out here because this is what we did last year. And Casey kept saying that we should do it. And I was like, no, it's okay. It's almost Christmas. It's not a big deal. We can just skip this year. They're gonna get wet anyway because it's been raining. And he's like, no, I really want to do it. So that's so adorable he's doing it now. Because I actually decorated like all, all of our decorations here. Um, I did most of it. I did have him help me a little bit here and there, but we finally have a Christmas tree this year. Finally. That's how Isaac used to say finally. We finally have a Christmas tree. So this is a pencil tree, so it fits in this little corner. And I got one where the bottom doesn't have any like leaves. And so we're able to still have the kitty litter here because this is the kitty litter corner. And oh my God, luckily the cats have not messed with it at all. At all, they haven't messed with the Christmas tree. I'm so happy. I'm so happy they haven't messed with it. But yeah, I also put this garland around and then there's like these window things. There's like a Santa there, Christmas tree there. But yeah, I put garland all around the couch. Oh, and also snowflakes all over the windows. He still hasn't noticed I'm here. He's really concentrated. How cute. Good job, honey. He looks great. <laughs> Good job, honey. It looks great. That's so cute. Oh, I just passed by this really cool thing. Okay, I. this is how I know I'm old because I am so freaking excited over a trash can, okay? So you guys know the trash can that we already have. So this trash can here, it's like, uh, like voice automated or whatever. Like if I speak to it, it'll open. Like if it's say open can. It opens, it's a freaking cool trash can, which is a gift from Wong Fu, by the way, so thank you. So we separate our trash where it's anything stinky, like any food stuff or like, like mushy stuff that will make our trash smell. We actually put it in this trash thing, which no longer has a bag because we don't use it anymore. But this guy was actually here for the longest time and we had to put it inside the cabinet because our cat, Zoe, decided to turn into a dog now and started attacking that bag. There was this one day we came home and there was like all that, like the food scraps and stuff, like shredded everywhere, all on the floor, horrible. Or I'm like, what happened, cat? We've been having this here for like two years. It's been fine. All of a sudden, now you want to attack any like crumb of food that we leave anywhere in the kitchen. So now we have to make sure. Anytime we cook, we have to put every everything away. Like everything has to be clean because this cat will get to it. It's been really annoying, but anyway. So that's why we moved it to inside the cabinet. But then the other day, Casey and I, we were out shopping and we saw this cute addition. <laughs> Look how freaking cute. It's a, it's literally the exact same kind of trash situation, uh, but for, for composting. We don't compost, but it's literally for the same use, which is to put stinky trash. No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. We're talking about your, your little friend here, your little brother now. You got a little brother. Look how freaking cute. I cannot get over it. I was so happy bringing this home. I'm like, look, our trash can is pregnant too. <laughs> it has its own baby attached to it. I freaking love it. Oh my God. That, that's what I'm saying. You're like, that's how you know you're old. <laughs> the trash can gets you excited. Okay, another thing I have to talk about because I'm like staring at this guy here. This refrigerator. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> this refrigerator has given us so many headaches, you guys. I do not recommend this GE refrigerator that has a Keurig right here. When we first bought this, we're like, oh, how cool, we can make coffee with the refrigerator. It's really convenient. We actually use it a lot for the hot water and all that. Okay, but the reason why I'm so like <sighs> about it is because the freezer has stopped working on us and the ice maker, like whenever the ice maker is on for some reason, like it starts, leaking and like the fan stops working so all of the cold air starts going to the refrigerator and so our freezer defrosted everything because it wasn't cold but our refrigerator started freezing because all the cold was like being stuck in the refrigerator it was ridiculous man we actually we had this day where the whole day we're like we should have vlogged this day oh my god this day was eventful but we actually had to hit up our neighbors and asked them like, oh my God, do you have any room in your refrigerator because our freezer just completely stopped working. And so luckily our, 
our neighbors across the way, they were like, oh yeah, don't worry, we have extra room in our garage refrigerator. We're like, you guys have an extra refrigerator in the garage, it's genius. So they actually helped us out and we kept our food there for like, a week and I had the repair guy come over and he's like all right we're gonna have to do some major like open heart surgery type of procedure on this refrigerator to make it work and it's so annoying because when they're the maintenance guy is here the freezer all of a sudden decides to work it's like are you kidding me you work when you don't need to <laughs> and then when you need to you're not working that was really annoying after we heard about our neighbors having a refrigerator in the garage we're like oh my god we should have a refrigerator in our garage too in case this guy breaks on us again because that was horrible all all of our stuff defrosted and we had to throw away a lot of things. So I went on OfferUp and I found this really good refrigerator. It's a Samsung. It looks practically brand new. The guys had it for like five years. He was moving, he was selling it for 200 bucks and I'm like, oh my God, this is a really good refrigerator for just 200 bucks. We need to jump on this. And the reason why I'm saying we should have vlogged that day is because it was a mission. <laughs> this guy was like back and forth between selling it to me and someone else. And then the guy was like, I'm sorry. The other person says that they're on their way already. I'm gonna sell it to them. And I was like, no, we need this refrigerator. <laughs> Luckily though, that the other people, they were like, oh, um, we can't make it at the time we said we are some of the guys like if you can beat them here I'll give you the refrigerator. So I'm like, yes, let's go. Luckily. He was only like 10 minutes away So we got there got the fridge. We took Casey's Telluride turns out the fridge doesn't fit in the Telluride But the, luckily the guy was like, oh, don't worry. We can use my truck Just load it up to my truck and we'll take it. So thank you guy so much He actually helped us bring it over in his truck, but then when we get here Oh my god, we get here, we plug in the refrigerator to the wall, to the outlet, and our entire power of the whole garage went out. Our water heater is connected to that same wall. Actually, like just the garage. We didn't have hot water for a whole night because we were like, how are we going to <laughs> reset this? We went to the circuit breaker, we flipped all the switches, nothing worked. We have a GI GFI reset thing, didn't work. It was crazy, right guys? That day, yeah. I'm like, we couldn't shower, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, use hot water. Couldn't. Oh, we couldn't close the garage door because the the garage power have, was out. Yeah, we couldn't use the garage had, at all. We had to <clears throat> manually close it. It was insane. So anyway, the next day we call we call an electrician. We're like, hey, I don't know what's happening. We reset everything we could. Please come over, help us out. So then an electrician came over and he was like doing his testing stuff. And he was like, I have no idea. Like it should be working. Like, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong. There must be another GFI reset button somewhere that you guys haven't seen in this garage. So let me show you. So if you look way over there, there's that GFI reset button thing. And that's the one we kept clicking on to reset the whole power for the garage. But then when the electrician guy came, he was like, there must be another one. And he found it here, <laughs> right behind these cabinets that I also need to show you guys how I built, by the way, I haven't finished that vlog. But he saw this somehow, he found it, and that was what reset the power to the entire garage. And that's how we were able to fix this power outage situation that we got from the brand new fridge. And we were so, which is this one, by the way, we were so like freaking out because we were like, we just bought this brand new fridge and it just wiped out the power. And then we tried connecting it with an extension cord from inside the house and it, it like blocked out that outlet too. So we had to reset it on the circuit breaker. So we're like, is the fridge fried? Did we just ruin the brand new fridge that we bought? Like what's happening? But luckily the electrician guy figured it out. Now we have a garage refrigerator. We put all of Casey's medication here and some extra almond milk and some drinks. But you really, what we're using it for is the freezer because we don't trust the freezer inside the house anymore. So all of our frozen stuff is out here. Now we know we can we can rely on this refrigerator, but we have so much stuff in here. It's crazy. So you might be thinking like, wait, so you sent out an electrician just so he could push a button? That's a big old waste of his time. I would agree with you, but we ended up hiring him to install a new outlet for the Tesla charger. So his trip wasn't wasted. He actually installed the 520, I think it's called. So a bigger outlet. So now my car is charging a lot faster these days. So all that refrigerator craziness stuff that happened actually worked out because then now we have a faster plug for the Tesla and now we charge it on this side and not on this side anymore, which means I gotta move that cord 
management thing on the other side. Yeah, that was the whole refrigerator thing. It was crazy. Anyway, I gotta make Casey his breakfast. Oh my God, I've been talking for a long time. Bread. <gasps> There's no more bread. Oh no. He's gonna get end pieces for his breakfast. And butter toaster. Gosh, how funny. <laughs> That's so small. Take your vitamins. Breakfast delivery. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> I love how the cats are just on the bed too. Hello. That's my, cute. my roommates. <laughs> Meet the mates, the fat mates. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <sighs> okay, so after I make him breakfast, and by the way, remember I said it's not morning, it's technically like lunch, cause it's like almost two o'clock. Sleep schedule has been out of whack because now me being in third trimester, I have fatigue again, which means just like in first trimester, which is throwing off my sleep schedule like crazy because I am now like taking naps throughout the day, which means I stay up later at night. Like for example, last night we didn't go to sleep till 2 a.m. And that's what's happening. We are going to sleep really late, waking up late. Um, so that's why breakfast right now, it's coming at 2 p.m. I've been making smoothies. I've been using a whole bunch of ingredients, like chia seeds. Have you guys ever used chia seeds? Cause I'm new to this chia seeds life. And I've just been like sprinkling a tiny bit into my smoothies in the morning. And it definitely gives it like a slimier texture, which I'm like, is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. Um, but apparently there's like a ton of health ben benefits to chia seeds. So that's why I've been just sprinkling them on my stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. My oatmeal and my smoothie. And then after, we have a, an appointment to get to. So I think that might be the extent of my updates for you guys, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, today we're doing extra spinach cause it's going bad on me. So yeah, these days um, I've just been making breakfast and then eating alone because Casey's upstairs in the office. Try not to get me sick, wearing a mask. But you know what though, I didn't update you guys. So remember last time um, we were talking about me getting my gestational diabetes test? Well, it turns out that that first one, the one hour test, I failed it, but like barely by a little bit. And so which, means that they found too much sugar in my blood. So I had to go in for a three hour test and I didn't film that one, but that one was, it was nuts. Oh my God, do I still have my bruise? Yeah, look, I still have a bruise on my arm. So that one, I had to fast and then I went into the office. They drew my blood for the first round and then they had me take the drink and they didn't have any more of the powder drink because this birth center is closing down so they didn't restock on the good stuff. So I had to take the nasty stuff and some of you guys are commenting that that orange drink isn't that bad. Girl, it was just as bad as I remember 13 years ago. This drink is disgusting and maybe I'm just like sensitive to the sugar. I don't know, you guys have different palate. I don't know, but this drink is Disgusting and I had to I had to drink that one. So I'm like dang it I didn't get to avoid drinking that one one hour later I go in they draw my blood and then I had to do that three more times So a total of four blood draws So she kept pricking the same part which is like the very center part of my arm And she did that one three times and then the fourth time because that third time that she did it I'm like oh man my vein is is like getting tired like it, it hurts so in the fourth time she did it where it's super bruised and that was just one prick there where I'm like, what the heck lady? That was just one blood draw and look at this insane bruise. But anyway, I got my test results for that second glucose test and I passed. So I don't have gestational diabetes, you guys. Oh, I made it. And my numbers were really great too. It wasn't like I barely passed, like they were really good. Um, so I'm really, really relieved about that. So that's another update for you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna have my breakfast.